Hey, it's Squidly. z -Packs and Osprey are two well-known brands in the backpacking industry. And among backpackers, they are popular and, and generally well understood and well known. And today I want to compare and contrast two backpacks, the z -Packs Arc Hall with the Osprey Kestrel 48. So as we get started, uh, over the last three years, these are basically the two backpacks that I've used uh, almost exclusively. The z -Packs Arc Hall here, uh, more recently and before that, I was using the Osprey Kestrel 48. And they are a little bit different in size and capacity. And there are some other differences that basically come down to the manufacturer and, and just the companies in general and, and what they do and what they produce. So as we go along, I may have some specifics about those two particular backpacks, but one of the things that I want to cover in this are the differences between Z-Packs in general and Osprey in general. Let me start off by saying that there is nothing wrong with either one of these companies, but they do cater to different niches in the backpacking community. And backpacks are a very personal thing. What may be comfortable and perfect for me may be completely different for someone else and vice versa. And so I'm not saying that one company or one backpack is better than the other. I'm just saying that there are some basic differences. And in order for you to figure out the backpack that you want, that's just something you're gonna to have to figure out kind of on your own through some of this research and listening to what others have to say about it maybe. But some of it is just going in the store, trying one on, putting some weight on it and seeing what works for you. So as I just mentioned, the two companies really are targeting a different niche in the backpacking community. Z-Packs, generally speaking, is targeting ultra lighters and through hikers. They're trying to provide ultra light backpacking gear for backpackers with experience. Now that's not to say that if you're inexperienced, you can't get a Z-Packs backpack or any of their other gear and make use of it, make sense out of it, far from that. But generally speaking, that's who they're targeting. And generally speaking, Osprey caters to a broader audience, not just the ultralighters, not just through hikers, but also weekenders and day hikers and, and really anybody else who's getting into backpacking. And because of that, the backpacks have a different set of basic features about them that are a little bit different. The first thing, and maybe one of the things that you came to this video for, is the difference in weight. The z -Packs backpacks are designed to be ultralight. And so they have not just ultralight designs, but they use ultralight materials. And some of the design of it is really basic and, and you might almost say stripped down. It's made to where you get the bare minimum to make it comfortable. Uh, and it's not overbuilt. And it's that way on purpose to try to reduce the weight of it. And so of my two backpacks, even though the z -Packs Arc Hall is bigger and has a, a larger capacity, it weighs more than the Osprey backpack. On the other hand, Osprey backpacks generally have a more robust build. The padding in the shoulder straps and the waist belt is more robust. It's thicker. It's going to provide more comfort for more people. The suspension on the Osprey is a little bit more robust. There's more to it. The padding for the back, there's more to it. So because of all of that, the Osprey is a little bit heavier. Now, does that mean that it's so heavy that it's gonna make it impossible for you to carry it and be comfortable? The answer to that is absolutely not. It's just designed with a different group of backpacker in mind. So for some of the basic features on the Z-Packs backpack, for example, you can see on the on the side that's against your back and with the shoulder straps that it has fewer features on it. You can see the, the waist belt has a, a thin padding uh, and it does not come with any extra waist belt pouches or anything else. The other things that I have on here, uh, I have two water bottle sleeves. These are extra add-ons. It doesn't come with any of this, but if you want to add this stuff, it's designed so that you can add additional pieces to it. Uh, but the, the back of it with the suspension, uh, you can see that it's also minimal. Uh, and it, it does have a, 
um, a netting here so that when it has the arc feature uh, activated, it kind of keeps it keeps the pack off of your back. Uh, but you can see on here that there is just not much uh, additional build onto the back of the backpack. While the Osprey, and I don't know if you can really tell very well on here, uh, has thicker shoulder strap padding and thicker waist belt padding, and it comes with uh, the pouches on the waist belt, one on each side, the, the padding on the back of it. This is really thick and robust. It will keep anything that's in the pack from impacting your back. Through the course of the day backpacking, you're not gonna feel anything from the contents of your backpack. All you're gonna feel is this padding against your back. And I have to say that because of all this, uh, this, this robust build, this is a comfortable pack, but the price you pay is for a little bit heavier pack. Because of that more robust build, the Osprey backpacks have more adjustability in them so that it's possible to get that backpack adjusted just right for you because there's a way to adjust every millimeter of the way this thing fits on your shoulders, on your waist, and against your back, and also the curvature. All of that is adjustable on the Osprey. Being a more minimalist design, the Z-Pax, while it does have some adjustability to it, has less. It's not possible to completely adjust every minor little piece of it. Now, you can adjust the arc, you can adjust the load lifter straps and the shoulder straps and the waist belt, but because of the way it's designed, there's less adjustability in it. Now, for me personally, is it possible for me to get both of these backpacks adjusted to where they're comfortable? And the answer to that is absolutely. I don't have any trouble at all getting the Z-Pax Arc Hall adjusted perfectly to my torso. And the same thing is true of the Osprey. But I will have to say that I have never heard anyone say they couldn't get an Osprey backpack adjusted to them. All I've heard is that from other people is that you can get it adjusted to the way you need it so that it carries comfortably. But I have heard people who say that the Z-Pax backpacks just weren't for them, and it was because of the inability to get it adjusted to their anatomy, to get it adjusted so that it was really comfortable for them. Another major difference between these two backpack brands is the price. The Z-Pax backpacks are more expensive because of the materials that they use, the minimalist design, the way it's designed. It just costs more. Uh, in addition, they're not mass produced. While at the same time, the Osprey backpacks are mass produced and they're designed to be accessible to a broader range of the backpacking community. Now, up to this point, it almost sounds like I'm advocating for Z-Packs over Osprey, and I can assure you that I'm not. It's just a matter of difference in what you want and what you want your gear to do or how you want it to perform and what your goals are in backpacking. And so those are the questions you're going to have to answer for yourself. I can't answer those for you on a video. But here's one major difference where Osprey outshines any of the competition, and it's in the warranty. Z-Pax offers a limited warranty on their backpacks. And generally speaking, I've heard good things about the Z-Pax warranty and getting pieces replaced or Z-Pax standing behind their product. But having said that, the Osprey has an unlimited lifetime warranty. If you have any trouble with anything for any reason ever, all you have to do is return it and you can get a replacement. Now, in the case of some packs, I have heard of people going back to replace it and they no longer make that model anymore and so they had to get a different one, but Osprey still stood behind it and made right on it. Your choice between an Osprey backpack or a Z-Pax backpack really depends on what your needs are. What is it that you're looking for in a backpack? What is it that you need? And in the end, that will determine which direction you go in this. And even though both of these companies target a particular niche in the backpacking community, it doesn't mean that if you don't fit into that particular niche, then that's not the backpack for you. Just as an example, I can tell you that I know plenty of people who are basically weekend warriors and maybe once or twice a year they do a little bit of an extended trip for maybe a week 
who have Z-Pax backpacks. They're not through hikers. And also, there are people who have taken Osprey backpacks on through hikes and have been totally satisfied with them. So just because you don't fit into one or the other niche doesn't mean that's not the backpack for you. It might very well be. Recently, I was looking into getting a, what I was thinking in my mind is a second backpack because my son, Handyman, uses the Osprey more times than, than I do now. And so part of my thinking was I wanted something smaller than the Z-Packs R Call, which is, a, I think it's a 60, it's either 62 or 65 liter. I can never remember. But I was thinking I wanted something more in the 50 liter range. And so I was looking at what I could do for finding a lightweight backpack that kind of fit that size. Well, the more I thought about it, the more I thought, I really don't want to spend that much money on a new backpack when, as it turns out, I already have one. As a matter of fact, the Kestrel 48 fit exactly the size that I was already thinking about. I was thinking of something that was on the shoulders of 50 liters. This one's 48 liters. So it's perfect. And I got to thinking, why would I go and spend any more money on an, another pack, except that I just like buying gear? When I already have one, and what I might do is, if my son goes, I might switch out with him, let him take the Z-Packs, and I'll take the Osprey. Okay, do me a favor. In the comments, if you have a Z-Pax or an Osprey, tell me what you think and tell me why you think that one is better than the other for you. And on the way out, don't forget to hit like and subscribe.